we're going to transform this lovely white crystalline sugar into this incredible caramel sauce, which has got such a wonderful colour and aroma to it. So let's get on with it. Starting off with sugar. Sugar is sucrose, so it's a, it's a disaccharide. It's made up of two monosaccharide, two simple sugars, which is glucose and fructose. And what we're going to do is we're going to go from this one molecule, sucrose, and we're going to now make many, many molecules because this sucrose is going to break down and it's then going to produce loads of flavour and aroma compounds. And actually, these smaller molecules will also sort of join together and make some long conjugated molecules, which is going to give us this incredible colour of caramel as well. So we're starting from one thing and we're going to make many. Sugar into saucepan. And we've got some water here, so that's 200 grams of sugar, around about three tablespoons of water is just enough. You can just move that round just a smidge, just so that you've, the water's just covered all of it. But once that's started, then do not touch the saucepan, just let it do its thing. If you start to move it about, you can cause the sugar to sort of crystallise out of the mixture. When it starts crystallising out, that's when it all goes wrong and you've got to start again. So when you watch the Bake Off, and that's what's happened. People have been a little bit too keen, they're fiddling with their saucepan, and then things go wrong. Once we get above 160 degrees, that's when the caramelization is happening. And what's happened is our sucrose, it's broken into fructose and glucose, and then loads of magic's happened. So we're gonna have all sorts of polymerization reactions where these simple sugars will begin to join together and make these longer conjugated molecules. Um, and I say conjugated because they're gonna have some alternating um, single and double bonds, adding some conjugation. And when you have a conjugated molecule, they, they'll absorb light and they can uh, have, a, have a resulting colour. And these compounds are called, in this case, are called caramelins, as you can imagine, link being caramel, and they have this brown sort of colour to them. But also the other reactions that are happening are lots of sort of, are lots of condensation reactions. Condensation, you can imagine emitting getting rid of water. So we're removing water from these molecules and they're getting smaller and smaller and they're going to produce these aroma and flavor compounds. So you'll have um, things like um, maltol and some of the furans and these smaller volatile compounds have all got different flavors associated with them. So some of them are fruity, some of them are nutty, some of them are buttery and collectively they all come together and they make the amazing aroma and smell and taste that we have of our caramel. Now it has got to the caramelizing stage and you can see this color forming. We can now begin to move the saucepan around. I think I'm gonna probably take that off. I'm gonna mix in our butter. And we can whisk that in. And then once that's incorporated, we can pour in our cream as well. And we can mix that in as well. Then we're just gonna finish that off with a pinch of sea salt. I now just return that to the heat for around about 30 seconds or so. It just helps just to thicken it a little bit. And then now just gonna pour this into a bowl. There we go. 